Hello techies, welcome back to Git Tutorials. In this session, we will learn what is Git, how to get sign up for a new GitHub account. Without wasting time, let me jump into what is GitHub. GitHub is a cloud-based code hosting platform for version control and collaboration. GitHub is the best repository hosting service for software development version control using Git. GitHub offers all of the distributed version control and source code management functionality of Git as well as adding its own features. GitHub offers three kinds of plans, one for free, second professional and enterprise accounts. Let me show you a demo how to get sign up for a new GitHub account. Let me switch to Google Chrome. Go to https colon forward slash github.com and you see over here this is the URL for the GitHub. You can see built for developers. GitHub is a development platform inspired by the way you are work. For open source to business, you can host and review code, manage projects and build software alongside 40 million developers. As of now, there are more than 40 million developers are using GitHub. Okay, first of all, you need to sign up, right? And then you can go, if you are already having username and password, then you can go ahead and you can sign in directly. So as of now, I'm starting from the scratch how to sign up. So first, go ahead and click on sign up for GitHub. You can see join GitHub, create your own account. So first of all, give the username. I'm just giving the username which I want. Okay, I'm just giving my email ID. Okay, as it is. If you see over here, username may contain only alphabets, right? I have given dot over here so that I'm removing the dots. It only accept usernames, uh, you know, without dots. And you can see what are the things are available. Okay, and you can see I will say is GitHub hyphen trainer. Okay, I will just give this name and then I'm providing my email ID basha.amir86 at the rate of gmail.com and I'm giving the password. If you see, uh, it required at least eight characters that I will provide, uh, you know, at least eight characters password. And then if you see the email preferences, send me the occasional product updates. If you want, you can select it. If you don't want, you can uncheck it. And then you can go ahead and you can select the next plan. Okay, click on that. So you can see over here, choose a plan, individual or team. So if you see individually pick the plan, then you know, we are trying to learn it, right? So that we'll go for the free plan. Or else if you are working as a team, you know, you have a team, then uh, you know, team purpose, you have the, you know, nine US dollars you have to pay for the advanced collaboration and management tools. For the enterprise version, you have to pay 21 US dollars, starts with the 14 days free trial. So as of now, I'm working for the individual. I don't have any team, so that what I'm going to do, I'm using the basic one for the GitHub for every developer, okay? Now I'm choosing choose free. It will ask welcome to GitHub. It is giving a welcome. You can welcome to GitHub. How much programming explain do you have based on your thing, you know, I can give just a moderate amount. So what do you plan to use the GitHub for learn to code? I will use these things, okay? I'm interested in RPA, AI, .NET. I will give what are the interests, okay? Com and then I will click on complete setup or else if you don't want to give all this information, you can click on skip this step. So once you have completed the setup, it will ask for the verifying the email. So what I will do, I will go for the verification. I got a mail from the GitHub on my mobile. I'm going to be completing it. I have successfully verified my, you know, all the GitHub credentials and what are the accounts, all these things. I will sign out and then I know I will go ahead and I will sign in it. So now I'm already having uh, you know, GitHub account. So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to sign in. I'm giving my username or 
you can see over here, you can use the username or the email address. I will use my email ID and then I will provide my password and then sign in. So this is how it will looks like. You are having the main menu over here like pull request, issues, marketplace, explore. So at the starting time, you won't get this kind of things. While you are verifying your account details, so it is different way. How it will looks like? It is asking for the create repository. This is the which is the page you will find when you are going to be successfully verified. Okay, it is asking for the create repository. So what is the repository that you want to create? And you can see over here the owner. What are the username I have provided? That owner will be over here. Okay, and if you want to create any repository name like you know your project name or or else whatever you have you can give it over here for the time being what i will do i will give the repository name as my project name okay so i will say uh, i'm having a dream in uh, you know artificial intelligence so that i will say ai project i will give the name ai project so let's assume if i'm giving the space over here it will accept it but you can see over here ai hyphen project will be created if you're giving any space over here it won't allow the repository name won't allow you to give any kind of spaces so that what i'm going to do i'm just giving ai hyphen project or else i will give ai project and then the description is i will just provide this is related to ai and then if you see over here, there are two options that is providing by the repository that should be a public or private. So when I'm going for the public, anyone can see the repository, you can choose, you choose who can commit. So it's a, the repository is going to be in, you know, in the public and then you can go ahead, someone who has given permissions by you, they can go ahead and commit the code or commit any kind of documents. And it is private, you have to pay something for to choose these things. Okay, and then you can see there is the option initialize this repository with a readme. What does this mean? If you're having readme, this information, what are the project you have been created and what is the description that you have given, all these things will be available in this readme file. Let me select it. Okay, and then you can find add.gitignore. So what does this mean? Git ignore means if you want to ignore some kind of things from your project. Let's assume if you don't want to add CSS files, if you don't want to add any kind of .py files like Python files or anything else. If you, if you don't want to add document kind of thing in your particular repository, you can go ahead and you can ignore it. You can see over here there's a lot of things like action script, Android, app engine. These are all the things which you want to. So what I'm going to do for the time being, I'm not ignoring anything so that I'm just selecting none. And if you want to add any licenses, you can add it over here. You can see general public licenses, MIT licenses, all these things. I don't have any licenses and I don't want to include any kind of licenses over here. And then to create a repository, correct? Now we have given all the details. This repository should be public and it has the readme file and I don't want to ignore anything and you don't have any licenses to add over here. Then you will find a green button over here. So it is the main that you are ready to go, right? Then I'm going to create a repository. I have clicked on create repository. So you can see over here, this is the owner name and this is about my project. So or the repository name. And you can see there's a lot of tabs you can find it out here one is code is there any issues issues tab if you have any issues you can define over here pull request so if you are working as a team so if someone is sending for the pull request you can find it out over here actions is there any actions depend on you or no has to be done by you is there any projects insight settings you can see all these things over here so it is providing github is providing very good features providing by github okay now let me go back to my code tab and you can see over here there is one one file that you have checked in that is read me and when you click over here you can see ai project and this is you know what is the repository name i have created it and what is the 
you know description that have provided it okay these are all the things what we have let me go back to my code let me click on code and if you see over here you will find clone or download okay click on clone or download you can find it out use git or check out with svn using this web url whenever you are working with the you know this particular repository you have to use this url all the time okay that is github.com slash it will come over with the owner name that is nothing but basha.ami86 hyphen trainer which i have given and then i have given the repository name ai project the extension is dot git so whenever you are working with the particular repository this should be mandatory to keep with you okay so you can what are the if you want to create a repository the, uh, you know this repository already created by using github now whenever you are going to clone the repository then you are going to use this uh, url while using git bash or some other uh, git gui okay i will show you how to do that in the next session so in the next session i will show you how to create a new repository how to clone a repository by using github as well as git bash or using git gui i hope now you understand what is github and to how to sign up for a new github account thank you for watching git tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section below stay tuned with us by subscribing our channel i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day